The world is on edge. From ongoing wars to shifting alliances, the doctrine of warfare is changing fast. We are talking about a country that's not just adapting to a modern conflict, but defining it. For decades, manned fighter jets ruled the air. Today, there are over 13,000 manned fighters around the world. But that is ending. And manned drones are taking over, and Turkey is leading the way. Turkey is also emerging as a critical, battle-tested powerhouse building its own advanced fighter jets, revolutionizing naval warfare and absolutely dominating the global drone market. The future of combat is unmanned, and Turkey is helping shape that future. Let's dive in. Situated at the nexus of Europe, Asia and Africa and controlling vital sea lines like the Turkey Straits, Turkey has always been a geopolitical linchpin. But beyond its geography, its long-standing membership in NATO, the second largest army within the alliance, gives it a crucial role in regional and global security. This strategic positioning isn't just about geography, it's about influence. Turkey finds itself at the intersection of major global power dynamics, including those involving EU, Russia and China. Its growing technological and defense capabilities allow it to act as a significant counterbalance, offering stability and projecting influence in a complex geopolitical landscape. Now let's talk about the crown jewel of Turkey's air and land defense ambitions. First, the Khan fighter jet. It's a symbol of Turkey's technological leap forward. Formerly known as the TFX, the Khan is a fifth generation style fighter designed to rival likes of the American F-35 and F-22, Chinese J-35 and Russia Su-57. Developing a fifth generation fighter is an incredibly complex undertaking, something only a handful of nations have achieved. The Khan project spearheaded by Turkish aerospace industry aims to replace Turkey's aging F-16 fleet. Its maiden flight on February 2024 was a monumental achievement signaling Turkey's entry in the elite club of aerospace innovators. Series production is expected to begin in 2028, with the first deliveries to the Turkish Air Force expected by the end of that year. Successful, Khan won't just modernize Turkey's Air Force, it could also become a major export platform. Several countries that are either locked out of the F-35 program or seeking alternative to Russia's and Chinese fighters could view Khan as a cost-effective and politically viable option. Moreover, Khan complements Turkey's growing ecosystem of indigenous military technology. Complementing its manned aircraft, Turkey has emerged as a global powerhouse in drone technology. The Bayraktar TB2 in particular has achieved international recognition for its combat performance, proving its effectiveness in various conflict zones such as in Ukraine, Azerbaijan, Syria and Libya. By 2024, Baikar, the manufacturer, generated 90% of its revenue from international sales, reaching over 2 billion US dollars in drone exports. This impressive figure underscores Turkey's position as the world's leading UCAFs exporter, controlling an estimated 65% of the global market. The Bayraktar TB2 and Akinci drones have been exported to over 35 countries, including NATO allies and EU members, demonstrating their reliability and advanced technology, including AI-powered flight control and GPS-independent navigation. Next generation and manned warfare is evolving fast, and one of the most disruptive players is Turkey's Bayraktar Kızılelma. Originally developed by Baykar, Kazil Elma is Turkey's first unmanned fighter jet, designed for stealth, high maneuverability and advanced AI-driven targeting. Unlike traditional drones used for surveillance on basic strikes, Kazil Elma is built to engage in air-to-air -air combat, fly alongside manned jets and operate from aircraft carriers, a leap forward in drone warfare. And now, with a partnership between Baikar and Italian defense giant Leonardo, Kazilelma is set to join the ranks of Europe's most advanced combat drones. 
This collaboration brings together Turkish innovation and Italian airspace technology, potentially turning Kezelelma into a joint European force multi multiplier. The implications are huge. Kizil Elma could become part of NATO's next generation drone strategy, bridging gaps between EU and Turkish defense industries. It positions Turkey not just as a drone exporter, but as a global defense tech player rivaling the US, Israel, Russia and Chinese systems. If Kizil Elma enters European and Middle Eastern markets at scale, Turkey's defense revenue could skyrocket, boosting ex exports and strengthening its defense industrial base. More than just a drone, Kizil Elma symbolizes Turkey's entry into elite AI-powered autonomous warfare and this shift could reshape how air dominance is achieved in future conflicts. In a world racing towards militarized skies and weaponized orbits, Kizil Elma and projects like Golden Dome signal the next phase of 21st century warfare, one that's faster, smarter and increasingly unmanned. The Anka-3 is Turkey's next-generation stealth unmanned combat aerial vehicle, developed by Turkish aerospace industries. With a flying wing design and low radar signature, it's optimized for deep strike missions, electronic warfare and high-risk reconnaissance. Anka-3 is expected to operate alongside Kaan and Kazel Elma, forming a network AI-driven air combat ecosystem. Turkey's defense ambitions aren't confined to the air. They are extending rapidly across the seas. Under the Blue Homeland concept, Turkey is undertaking a significant naval expansion, with the Ministry of Defense announcing in January this year that 31 warships are currently under construction across nine different projects. A cornerstone of this transformation is the Milgam project, Turkey's national shipbuilding program. The TCG Istanbul Turkey's first indigenous designed and built frigate was commissioned in January 2024. Seven more ISTIF class frigates are under construction, with two already launched in January 2025. These vessels boast significant domestic content, demonstrating Turkey's self sufficiency in naval engineering. Milgan corvettes have also found significant export success, being sold to Pakistan and Ukraine, with Turkey actively proposing them to other nations like Thailand and Malaysia. Beyond surface vessels, Turkey is making remarkable strides in its submarine fleet. The first six of new race class submarines, featuring advanced air independent propolis systems, was delivered in October 2024. But the ambition doesn't stop there. Construction of the first Milden class submarine, a fully indigenous Turkish design, began in December 2024 with six units planned by 2031, equipped with advanced vertical launch cells and domestic weaponry. And looking even farther ahead, the Turkish Navy has confirmed plans for Nukdam initiative, the development of nuclear powered submarines. This bold move, tied to Turkey's expanding civilian nuclear energy program, aims to provide long-term deterrence and project global influence, placing Turkey in an elite group of nations with such capabilities. Turkey is also investing heavily in unmanned sea vehicles. The Marlin UCV enters service in January 2024. But Turkey's ambitions aren't confined to the atmosphere or the sea. They are reaching for the stars. The Turksat satellite program is another cornerstone of Turkey's tech push. Turksat is not just a satellite operator, it's a critical player in Turkey's digital transformation, providing broadband internet, television broadcasting and secure communication service across a vast region. Turkey has been steadily expanding its satellite fleet. A major milestone was the Turksat 6A, which officially entered service on April 2024. This is Turkey's first domestically produced communication satellite, with an impressive 80% of its components made locally. This achievement places Turkey among an elite group of countries capable of producing their own communication satellites, expanding its coverage areas to include India, Thailand, Malaysia and Indonesia. So how do these comprehensive technological advancements from air to sea and even space position Turkey as a counterbalance to major global powers like the US, Russia and China. It's multifaceted. First, it enhanced defense capabilities, including its formidable drone arsenal, the future Khan fighter 
and a rapidly modernizing navy, strengthen NATO's southern flank and provide a more robust deterrent against potential aggression. Secondly, Turkey's growing influence in the regions like Black Sea, Balkans, the Caucasus, North Africa and Eastern Mediterranean, often areas of competing interests with Russia and China, allows it to project its own vision for stability and development. Its battle-proven drones and burgeoning naval power give it considerable leverage. Furthermore, Turkey's active diplomacy and its ability to engage with diverse actors, even those at odds with each other, allow it to play a unique mediating role. This strategic flexibility combined with its technological advancement and growing defense exports makes Turkey a more assertive and independent actor, capable of pursuing its own interests while contributing to regional stability. The economic impact of the rise is immense. The defense and aerospace and industries are significant drivers of growth, creating high-skilled jobs and fostering innovation in related sectors. In 2024, Turkey's defense exports reached a record-breaking 7.2 billion US dollars, positioning the country as the 11th global defense exporter, with significant contribution from naval platforms and drones. This virtuous cycle of investment, innovation and job creation is critical for Turkey's long-term prosperity. The dedication to indigenous technology across air, sea, space, coupled with the proactive foreign policy, points towards a future where Turkey is not just a regional power, but a significant global player in technology, defense and beyond. From the skies with the calm fighter and its market-dominating drones to the expanding blue waters with its cutting-edge naval platforms and submarines and reaching the far stretches of space with its satellites, Turkey is undeniably on a path to becoming a true tech and defense powerhouse. Its strategic location and relentless pursuit of technological independence are reshaping its role on the world stage, making it a crucial actor in complex geopolitical landscape of the 21st century. What are your thoughts on Turkey's impressive rise? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more in-depth analysis and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next uploads. Thanks for watching and see you in the next time.